The Theory and Practice of Oligarchical Collectivism is a fictional book in George Orwell's dystopian novel 1984. The book was supposedly written by Emmanuel Goldstein, the principal enemy of the state of Oceania's ruling party. Before we continue we would like to thank our subscriber Yamilo Canal. Subscribe to our channel and give this video a like for random shout outs like this. We're also partnering with Amazon Associates program. You can buy Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition at an amazing price from the link down below. The party portrays Goldstein as a former member of the inner party who continually conspired to depose Big Brother and overthrow the government. In the novel, the book is read by the protagonist, Winston Smith who recalls that, there were whispered stories of a terrible book, a compendium of all the heresies, of which Goldstein was the author, and which circulated clandestinely here and there. It was a book without a title. People referred to it, if at all, simply as the book. Orwell modeled the character of Emmanuel Goldstein on Leon Trotsky, one of the leaders of the Bolshevik Revolution. In 1984, the protagonist Winston Smith writes a diary in which he confesses thought crimes, such as his secret hatred of Big Brother and the party. In the course of his work life at the Ministry of Truth, Winston approaches O'Brien, a member of the inner party, believing him part of the Brotherhood, Goldstein's conspiracy against Oceania. Initially, O'Brien appears as such, especially in arranging to give Winston a copy of the book, the possession of which is a crime in Oceania. In conversation, O'Brien tells Winston that the book reveals the true, totalitarian nature of the dystopian society that the party established in Oceania, and that full membership to the Brotherhood requires reading the book. Winston describes his first encounter with the book. A heavy black volume, amateurishly bound, with no name or title on the cover. The print also looked slightly irregular. The pages were worn at the edges, and fell apart easily, as though the book had passed through many hands. The inscription on the title page ran. The Theory and Practice of Oligarchical Collectivism by Emmanuel Goldstein. The term oligarchical collectivism refers to Ingsoc. English Socialism. The dominant ideology of Oceania, and to the ideologies of neo-Bolshevism in Eurasia and death worship in East Asia. Winston reads two long exarchates establishing how the three totalitarian superstates, East Asia, Eurasia, Oceania, emerged from a global war, thus connecting the past to his present, the year 1984, and explains the basic political philosophy of the totalitarianism that derived from the authoritarian political tendencies manifested in the 20th century. That the three, ostensibly opposing ideologies are functionally identical is the central revelation of the book. Theoretically, oligarchical collectivism recalls the theory of bureaucratic collectivism put forth by some Trotskyists in the late 1930s as a description of the Soviet Union under Stalin. Oceania's principal enemy of the people, Emmanuel Goldstein, is modeled after Leon Trotsky, a former member of the inner circle of the Bolshevik party whom Stalin purged and then declared an enemy of the people of the Soviet Union, the socialist state that Trotsky had helped found in Russia. From exile, Trotsky criticized the social system of the Soviet Union, 